Hi, thanks for tuning in to my video on stupid right-wing memes. I didn't even need to learn how to use my editor yet to do this one. This is really simple, and it's really fun. These are seven memes, and they're from the site Right Wing News. Right Wing News is news in the same sense that corporations are people, and Dr. Pepper was a medical doctor. So let's get started. Two, three things every American should know how to use, neither of which are taught in schools. Okay, so you want our kids to learn how to use guns. What are you going to do? Use guns in gym class? <laughs> if they did, do you think that uh, white people would want black kids to learn how to use use guns in, in elementary schools and middle schools? Uh, and the Bible. What do you want to... Th These people, I swear, they want a theocracy. You're going to teach the Bible in school? Maybe a little bit about the Bible, but... Ugh. I don't know. It's so ridiculous. Everyone on welfare should be first to get a job. Like if you agree. Forced. What do you mean by forced? Like Stalinist-style labor camps? You mean like communist Poland, where they would round up homeless people and people on welfare and make them do labor that doesn't even need to be done. Like labor that need, that is done by machines like crushing rocks. W worthless labor just to get them to work. How authoritarian is that? You say you hate the government, but then you want some kind of authority to step in and make these welfare people get a job. I will not sit down. I will not shut up. And I will not comply. I'm an American. And I am sick of the corruption in D.C. Well, listen, you guys, you've never sit, sat down. You've never shut up. I hear you cry all the time. You're always outraged. You right-wingers, you regressive right you're always triggered, you're triggered about abortion, you're triggered about transgendered, you're triggered about gay people, black people, you're always outraged about someone else, you're always outraged about someone, or even ironically, more ironically enough, you're outraged about other people being outraged. And of course there's Washington corruption in D.C., but who doesn't know that? Here's another one. Good old Godwin's Law. You gotta bring up Hitler sometime. This is perfectly related to Hitler, but it's certainly Hitler. Like if you agree that idiots calling Trump a Nazi are an insult to everyone affected by the, the Holocaust. Yay, I agree. Now let's stop calling the liberals Nazis. Let's stop calling Obama like Hitler. Remember that? Obama is just like Hitler. Oh my God. And he was going to stick us in FEMA camps. He was a secret Muslim. And remember, he's going to declare martial law and shut down all the banks. I remember in 2009, I saw a clip. Glenn Beck predicted that by 2014, unemployment would be at over 12%, that Obama would have declared martial law and shut down all the banks, and boy, was he ever off. But yeah, it's absurd. You know, Hitler, he was a big Christian. He actually legalized guns, his party did. They legalized guns. Guns were once illegal in during his party, the Nazi party, legalized guns. Not only that, but around about 1937, 1938, he made it easier for German people to have guns. He is your dream leader, right-wingers. He's a big right-winger. I can go on about that forever, how fascism is a hard right movement and national socialism is a contradiction because socialism is globalistic. Detroit has been run by liberals for decades. Texas has been run by conservatives for decades. This should tell you everything you need to know. Yeah, it tells you everything you need to know if you're an idiot. If you like reductionist logic that doesn't look at the facts. Alright, first of all, you're comparing a city, Detroit, to a state. Which is absurd in and of itself right there. Right, maybe if it was Michigan against Texas, it might make a little more sense. Second of all, virtually every city in our country is liberal. New York City is mostly liberal. Los Angeles is mostly liberal. Same thing with San Francisco. And guess what? They're rolling in the money. They're rolling in dough. You know, ironically enough, the states, the nine, the ten states that get the most welfare, which government system, which government system, since the bottom ten. Nine out of ten of them are red states. They're Republican states, and they get the most money. 
You know, and this reasoning about guns, you know, guns are banned in Detroit, but not in Texas. There's more murders in Detroit. Yeah, but guess what? Guns were banned in Japan, completely banned. And there are no firearm murders. Australia, despite what the NRA propaganda tells you, they got rid of assault rifles. They got rid of all of them. Homicides by guns cut in half right there. Millions, thousands of people's lives were saved on account of that. Every other country in the world has better, pretty much, not every country, but so many countries in this world has better gun control laws than we do. And we have like five times the amount, five times the homicide rate as these other countries. Literally, five times as many homicides as countries like the UK, well, like Britain, right? Or the UK or, or France. We have five times as many. And plus, in those countries, you have common sense gun laws. You don't have these idiots saying, oh, oh they're going to take away all our guns. You're going to take away all Oh, if you, you pass one single gun law, the, 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 what's next? The slippery slope to socialism. Oh, you know, homosexuality leads to bestiality. You fucking idiot. And they say, oh, yeah, if they take away our guns, it's the only thing protecting us from a dictator. Well, what about all these other countries where they have common sense gun laws? And there's no dictators popping up. Plus... When you say that the only thing that's protecting us from a dictatorship is our guns, and we need our guns to protect us from the government, that's an insult to our Constitution. It's an insult to our democratic system. I think the First Amendment, the, the best right we have, is the First Amendment. Freedom of speech. The government will not make laws telling us what we can say and can't say. And guess what? If someone tells you you're an asshole and criticizes you, that's not freedom of speech. That's not a freedom of speech issue. That's criticism. So many people act like jerks, and then, you know, when they criticize them, they cry that you're trying to censor them. Nope. That's not the case. Well, this one will make it short. I support making English America's official language. Of course you do. You can barely speak English the way it is, let alone learn a few Spanish phrases. Or Portuguese or French or whatever, you know. I think Dutch is the only language spoken in our, the only other language spoken in our, uh, in our hemisphere. I can't think it's Suriname it's spoken in. And either way. Okay. Sheriff David Clark. Beyonce kills Black Panther uniforms. Would that be acceptable if a white band came out in hoods and white sheets in the same sort of fashion? We would be appalled and outraged. Well, tell you the truth, buddy, you're already outraged. All right, you're a black guy. Who cares? It makes no difference. He might not be black. Who cares what he is, right? Equating the Black Panthers with the KKK, right? False equivalency 101. Did you see the Black Panthers hunting down white guys and stringing them up? There's this other meme that says, oh, yeah, Asian pride is not about hate and black pride is not about hate, but white pride is not about hate. Us white guys are being victimized. We can have white pride without... It's not hateful just to have white pride. Well, guess what? Every time a white guy got proud... Not every time. But a lot of times when white people get proud... Get some kind of pride. I'm proud to be right, white, basically. I like being white. I think white people are really cool. But unfortunately, when white people start talking about white pride... It usually ends up really ugly. The KKK and the Black Panthers were way different. Well, thanks a lot for watching. These guys are idiots and use some of this to argue with people. And like I said many times before on my videos, subscribe, comment, and vote. Support me if you believe in my ideas. Supporting me is as simple as just leaving com a comment, voting, or upvoting. Plus, I would really like it if you passed on who I am to other people. I want to build a following. Have some fun. Have a good day.